of skills can be the mainstay of Goa's economic development. Tourism can even grow further, as was rightly pointed out by you, sir. And uh, the fact that you, as Marvin said, airports, rail connectivity, tomorrow you'll be having the first one day Bharat starting from Goa, and then we will have many more in the future. Two rail bodies, the Indian Railways and the Counter Railway Corporation. All of this collectively, with the beautiful beaches, the warm hospitality, makes Goa an ideal place to promote tourism. And tourism provides the maximum income and income opportunities. New ideas come up, new, for example, homestay. I don't know how much it is already exploited. But all, every home in Goa is a perfect place to develop a homestay. I'll share with you in, in uh, Kashmir, after removal of uh, 370, article 370, there's been a huge rush of tourists. I don't know if you saw the number last year, 1 crore 88 lakh tourists went to, uh, to Jammu Kashmir. After peace and tranquility is brought into Kashmir. Now, the office is not enough hotels. So I remember once I had to go to Gulmarg for some uh, review of government programs. I said they couldn't find a room for me in Gulmarg. I, I hope they didn't, uh, I don't know how, but they did find a room. I hope it was only a mere cancellation that got me my room. But, uh, when I was talking to the people there, I realized that it means a huge amount of investment. And overnight it won't happen. There's a land drop. Just like land in Goa is very expensive. So I actually called up Bhavi Shagarwal from Oyo, I think, from there. And I said, look, there's a golden opportunity. He immediately deputed his team. They started promoting homestays. He had even sent me WhatsApp me. I disagree with you that people are not willing to come to Goa. Yes, even if you look for a job, they would love to come. Here. It's such a wonderful place, clean air, what lovely people, the warmth, the affection of uh, the local Goan uh, people, the wonderful cuisines that you have, the beaches that you have. I think you are really blessed. All of you in Goa are really blessed. And I come from Maharashtra, which is your neighboring state. Of course, the youngsters in the room may not have known it. But for all of us, relatively older people here, you remember the old Onida ad? Is it Onida ka advertisement? Very well. But truly, for those who don't know about it, Onida, the television manufacturer, had a very famous ad in which they would build up the ad and then show a Omida TV with a punchline, neighbors and me, owner's pride. Many years to be at Goa Wonderful to see. From the centre as well as the state. Indeed, it's always a great pleasure welcoming a big personality to Goa. I had the privilege to welcome the Puyish Goelji to Goa in the afternoon. And at this interaction, I will not take much of your time because I want it to be an interaction between you all and the Honourable Minister. A real-time interaction so that something good comes out of it. Nevertheless, I want, to, I want the Honourable Minister to know that Goa has always done quite well considering our size and our drawbacks as a small state as far as industry is concerned. Recently, sir, we have brought about a brand new industrial policy whereby promoting everything to be done through a single window system. Recently, most important of all, we have introduced a new logistical and warehousing policy which we have just notified. Essence of this policy is 
We want Goa to be developed as one of the biggest logistical hub or trading hub possible in, in, in this part of India, that is our beautiful Goa. And why this is possible? We have right now two railways running from Goa, the Konkan Railway, Southwestern Railway. We have two airports recently commissioned, Mopa International Airport, Double A International Airport and we have the natural Murmuga Harbour under the Murmuga Port Authority. We have broad highways thanks to Nitin Gadkariji, one of the best road network in Goa where perhaps you have not seen elsewhere. We have rivers which can also be used in future for transportation. Ask what do we not have? It only needs that sort of support from the up to 10 or 25 lakhs easily we can get a loan at reasonable rate of interest. At present we have the policy policy. Yeah, yeah. See how we can build that up even further. It's a unique way to promote tourism. It's a double land. Not only do you get a place to stay, you also experience the local land. Why I say this is more than the Indian tourists, foreign tourists would love it. And ultimately you want to attract foreign tourists not only for the foreign exchange that they are bringing, but they are also general. We can try and attract higher level tourists. If we market uh, Goa better, look at the way uh, Maldives is marketing itself. With influencers. Comes from Goa. And uh, thanks to entire Goa population and uh, uh, already to help us out for everything to support and should providing the conducive uh, atmosphere. The couple of things which uh, will help the industry uh, to take it to the next side. I mean, if I will look at the global scenario because we export it out, we are 100% export oriented uh, for our company. And uh, basically, like uh, in the pharmaceutical industry, we have the premium, uh, premium institutes like the Lyco, Desro, Kipomokali, right? We have like the VHU, which is on our IIT. Now, being we are on an export uh, uh, premium sector, uh, the requirements, the regulatory requirements are very, very high, right? And certain like the uh, center for the excellence, like the Lyco, which has a very extreme good quality of engineers that have come on the table. One idea sounds very good. I'd love to work on that and I'll try to work, sit down with some of the entertainment industry and see what can be done to bring them to Goa. Actually, it's a natural place. They go to Maldives, they go to all of Europe and do film shooting and all of that. They can't get a better place than Goa to do film shooting. But I'm here to if we get the entertainment industry to come to Goa, you may find that Pramod will have a new job <laughs> or a new profession to pursue. Because they're always looking for good uh, film stars. <laughs> but yes, I see tremendous 